Welcome to hole 7 of the Adventure Golf Unit. Uh, hole 7 is taking a look at circles. This vocabulary explains different parts of circles or different elements of circles. Please take a few minutes to copy this down and pause if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and keep moving. Uh, along with the vocabulary, we should be uh, putting this information on a diagram. If I look at this diagram, this is what we call circle F. So the entire thing is a circle. There are many, there are a couple of different radii. Radii is short for, radii is short for multiple radius is. So radius goes from the circle, from the center of the circle to the edge. So I would have segment AF. I could also have segment FD. And I could also have segment EF. Each of those would be in a radius. A diameter goes from one edge to another edge and passes through the center. So in this case, I only have one diameter, and that diameter would be segment AD, found right here. A central angle. A central angle has the vertex as the center point. So in this case, I have a couple central angles. I would have uh, angle A, F, E, which would be this angle right here. It's a terrible drawing. I would also have angle A, F, D. Uh, A, F, E would be obtuse. Angle A, F, D would actually be a straight angle. And then I would also have angle E, F, D right here. That would be an acute angle. So I'd have three different central angles. A chord is any segment that goes from one edge of the circle to another edge or to the other edge of the circle. In this case, I would have chord BC. I would also have a special type of chord that is the diameter, chord AD. So a diameter is a type of chord, but not all chords are diameter, which you can see with chord BC. <clears throat> Excuse me. An arc is a portion of the outer edge of the circle. So in this case, I have a lot of different arcs. I'm not actually going to write all of them. I'm just going to give you a couple. Uh, the first one would be arc AB. And I actually show that with the symbol. Instead of a flat line above the AB, I put a curved line. And that shows that I'm talking about arc AB. And that becomes important, especially if I look at arc BC, because that line being curved shows that we're talking about this, whereas chord BC, where that line is straight, is actually talking about this. So when you're naming a chord, you want to put an arc, or I'm sorry, when you're naming an arc, you want to put a curved line above that instead of the segment symbol. So again, I could also have arc CD, I could have arc BD, I could have arc AD, I could have arc ED, many different arcs throughout this circle. A semicircle is a special type of arc that is half of a circle. So in this case, I only have uh, one semicircle, and the semicircle is arc AD. I look, I start here, and I go all the way around the outside of the circle halfway till I get to my D. So a semi means half of the circle. Arc AD would be a semicircle. You're now ready to get online and print the scorecard for the seventh hole.